Hello again, this is Angela Marandola from the Katie Brown Educational Program, and it has been a minute since I have made a video and spoken with y'all, but I am back at it. And today I am going to be talking about personal power. So you may have seen other videos out of KBEP staff talking about personal power in a more individualized sense. So uh, building personal like self-esteem, self-confidence, you know, all, all the good things that lend itself to personal power. I'm gonna shift gears a little bit and talk about how we build personal power for other folks, how we can be kind of like a contributing factor. So I wanna start off by talking about one of the core values at the Katie Brown Educational Program, which is celebration. So essentially what that means is that we celebrate each other. We celebrate individual and organizational successes. We, you know, share this out with with all staff. If something good happens, if we have a good experience, if we get good feedback, you know, we let that be known. And it really lends itself to a positive and healthy work environment because we're focusing on the things that we do well. Like we're always striving to get better, but we really want to lift up the things that we are just like hitting out of the park. Because so often, workplaces will focus on the negative, like the things that we're doing wrong, where we drop the ball. And I think that in that sense, like while it's important to acknowledge those things, if that's like your primary focus, it leads to kind of, you know, like this hostile culture, this culture that doesn't really empower anyone. It just leaves people feeling, you know, probably pretty small. And so empowerment is one of the the main uh, driving and motivating factors for our program. And I was trying to think about like how we bring celebration into our personal lives. How do we celebrate uh, not only ourselves, but other people as well. And I think it's really just as simple as like acknowledging them. So my friend Chris, he is someone who celebrates people. Like if he's talking to you about someone, he doesn't just like rattle off about a bunch of adjectives about them. Like they're smart, they're creative, they're this, they're that. He will explain to you like exactly what it is that they do that makes him feel this way about them. And I really love that. And I kind of recognize that I don't do that enough. I'm the like, happy birthday, have a great day, you're amazing and wonderful and I'll see you soon kind of person and never really like getting into the the nitty gritty of why I think this person is so fabulous. Uh, And so as I was thinking about like how we just like throw out adjectives sometimes and how they may just kind of be like nice in the moment and not really resonate. Uh, I really wanted to be more intentional with how I acknowledge and honor people. And I think that that does help to build and cultivate a personal power in, in someone. And so in, uh, kind of like practicing this, I also, and kind of receiving it as well from folks, it made me, also realized that things that I was like self-conscious about or had low confidence in were, you know, through this type of honoring reframed in a way that made those things just show up differently for me. So for instance, I am someone who loves to talk. Like I can talk for an indeterminate amount of time about any topic, uh, I just love to chat. I love to listen. I do love to talk. And it's something that I've always been a little bit self-conscious about, which is funny. Like, it's a thing that I'm self-conscious about, and yet I keep doing it. But mostly because I'm like, that's uniquely me. And uh, I, anyone who know, knows me knows that I have this tendency. So one day I was, like, talking about it with Chris, and I remember, you know, saying, like, it's just, I why would anyone care what I have to say? And, like, I feel so self-conscious about that, and I always feel, like, a little bad after I do it. And his response was just, like, you're a natural storyteller. Like, you're a good st- storyteller. You're funny, and you can connect with people, and the way you tell stories is really engaging. And I just, it was something that I didn't know I needed to hear, because I had already, you know, settled on I have this thing about me that I do that is just annoying and it's obnoxious and people do not like it. And then it was kind of seen through a different filter that felt really empowering. So while I know that there are, you know, always better ways to communicate and uh, that's always like a work in progress, that it at least like took something that I did feel self-conscious about and make me feel better about it. Like, how do I use this power for good? Um, 
And that felt really, really empowering. And so I really, you know, uh, task everyone with kind of trying this and see how it how it shows up for them and how it shows up for other folks. Because I feel like, you know, even though our self-esteem, our confidence, our personal power is something that we need to strive toward as individuals and we need to work on ourselves constantly, right? We need to invest in ourselves. We also need to invest in other people because the world is not work if it's just us investing and being there for other folks and really showing up for them and acknowledging them and seeing them it's just nice to be seen like I think most people just want to be seen like you you know that you do something well and you really feel that but sometimes having somebody else like validate that for you or acknowledge it or see it it just adds that that empowerment layer and uh I mean, I can vouch for it. I, I really like it. I, I think that it, it's been super beneficial for me and super beneficial for me to like uh, communicate with others in that way. That being said, it's important to acknowledge that some folks, you know, they they receive feedback differently. They receive compliments differently or acknowledgements differently. They may not be in the right headspace to, you know, be honored in that type of way. It doesn't mean we just don't honor them or tell them, you know, what we love about them or what what's so great about them if you just meet them where they're at and you know create a, a space that that feels okay for them in that way because I think eventually you know uh hearing really positive things about ourselves and what we're doing can really only lend itself to having like being a really powerful person and we all want to have this personal power something that we are all uh striving toward and 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 doing it together and acknowledging other people and not just ourselves I think it really lends itself to that so I'll be curious to see so I you know I I, if anyone wants to try it and it's, it's like such a kind of like an easy activity is to just like call up your friend and tell them like specifically what is so great about them and see how that that shows up for you. Uh, We'd love to hear about it. If you want to leave a comment on one of our YouTube videos or on our social media, I'd love to to hear from you Um, and just and just see how that goes and you know how you feel about supporting another person's personal power. So that is it for me. I just want to thank you for uh, watching the video and listening to me as always that's just so amazing for you to really just like show up for for the Katie Brown educational program and our wellness content and we will certainly uh be talking to you and seeing you soon thank you